Hello, welcome back. This video is for radiologic technology students to learn how to identify rotation on a lateral chest x-ray. So what we have are three lateral chest x-rays, three different patients to compare. So the first thing that you'll want to look at for rotation on a lateral chest x-ray is the posterior ribs. So let's find where we are here. This is the anterior part of the patient's body and the posterior part of the patient's body here. Here we can see spinous processes coming off the spine and we can see the posterior ribs all superimposed on this patient. We can also follow their diaphragm both hemidiaphragm across the bottom of the image here. Um, then comparing it to this chest x-ray, both this is a diagnostic chest x-ray with no rotation here. We can see those posterior ribs superimposed, meaning the right and left posterior ribs are superimposed. Now, the one here in the middle we can see a little bit of separation of the ribs posteriorly, but there is an amount of separation of the posterior ribs that is allowable in chest x-rays because we have magnification of the right ribs due to OID, the object to image distance. So there is some magnification of the right ribs. So you may see about one centimeter, you know, separation of the posterior ribs, which is an allowable, you know, rotation because it's really just due to magnification. So I would say that this middle image is diagnostic as far as um, positioning is concerned. You know, we can see the costophrenic angles. We can follow the diaphragm all the way. We do see a bit of separation in the diaphragms, the, hemi, the right and left hemidiaphragm anteriorly. We know that the right diaphragm is higher than the left diaphragm naturally, which is why we're still seeing some diaphragm separation here. But posteriorly on this image in the middle, we can follow from the vertebral body one rib, one posterior rib curving around. And then if we go back, we can find another rib a little bit posterior. So these, these are the right and left ribs that are connecting to this specific vertebra, but we can see that one of the ribs is more anterior than the other rib. So um, the, the, um, the magnified rib, which would be the right rib, is a little bit posterior than the left ribs, which are the ribs that are closer to the IR. Um, so we can see that there's that bit of separation there, but that's just due to the OID. There's really not a repeatable rotational error in this image. Now comparing this last image to the first two images that we saw, we can see a, a huge difference here posteriorly when you look at these ribs. We can follow this rib from the vertebral body, let's say we'll follow from this vertebral body, follow this rib around here. But then this is another rib. This is the other rib from the same vertebra. They should be very much closer together. They shouldn't, we shouldn't see this much separation between those two posterior ribs. They should be closer to being superimposed as they are in this first image. And at the very least, just a very tiny slight bit of distance between the posterior ribs like they are in this middle image. This last image here is demonstrating a repeatable rotational error in the lateral chest x-ray due to that separation between the two posterior ribs here. And then also we see a lot of separation here anteriorly and posteriorly of the hemidiaphragm. I hope that this was helpful. Thank you for watching.